Welcome to Auto Show Web TV. I'm your host, Delina Matthews, and today we are at the tribute to Ron Fellows presented by Canadian Tire, where Dave McLean, the director of the Auto Show, will be interviewing Ron Fellows himself. We're here with the Canadian racing legend Ron Fellows at the tribute to Ron Fellows presented by Canadian Tire. And Ron, we want to thank you for participating at the 2014 Canadian International Auto Show. And, uh, and want to ask you a few questions about your history. We know you were inducted into the Canadian Motorsport Hall of Fame this past fall. What was that like? Uh, very cool. Um, also a sign that you're getting older. <laughs> uh, no, obviously uh, you know, an, an honor. And uh, having been to a lot of the uh, Canadian Motorsport Hall of Fame uh, inductions and have you know, seen the history and, and uh, also being a big race fan, it's uh, obviously very cool to, to, to be in there now myself. Ron, I think I read one in one uh, particular piece of information or literature that I had that was filling me in on your background, that it all started for you in 1969 when the first time you went to, to uh, I guess, a track event. And tell us where it, where it went from there. Were you born then? I was born. I was six years old. <laughs> uh, I was, uh, yeah, I was actually 10, 10 or 11. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was where I was bitten by the racing bug. My uncle took my brother Rob and I. Uh, to the Canadian Grand Prix at uh, Mosport and um, watched the Formula One cars and we were there, got there at old dark 30 and sat up in the top of the grandstands on the front straight and to see the Formula One cars come up for the warm up uh, on the Sunday morning way back then it was uh, it was a bit of a, an epiphany it was that's what I wanted to do I wanted to be on the other side of the fence and and spent the next uh, 40 or whatever odd years 50 years uh, still doing that yeah now with some race car drivers they they seem to specialize whether it's formula one or indy but your skill set you've been able to transcend the different uh call it motorsport motorsport sectors or motorsport race categories what do you attribute that to and how difficult was it to do that you know i think a lot of it uh, you know i i had a ton of respect for uh you know a driver like mario andretti he um you know, he won in everything. It didn't matter whether it was a stock car or an Indy car, Formula One car. And, and I love racing. Um, you know, I got the opportunity when I was doing the long-distance sports car racing with, uh, with Corvette. Uh, at that point, I got the opportunity to, to, uh, uh, to do some NASCAR racing and, uh, and obviously a little bit of the prototype, uh, prototype racing, which is more like a single-seater. Um, but you know what? When I, was, when I was learning how to race in Canada at, at tracks like most sport now canadian tire motorsport park racing in a in a showroom stock camaro and then a you know a porsche a porsche 944 turbo on slicks and a single seater uh when you're doing a lot of that when you're when you're at a younger younger young age jumping from car to car i mean you learn to to transition because you have to very quickly because you're going from one car to the next and and the 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 heavier the car uh, the less sophisticated, the more difficult that one is. You get into a car that has a lot of grip, uh, a lot of downforce, that's easier. But, uh, you know, when I was racing, uh, you know, I'd get out, of the, get out of the showroom stock Camaro, get into the Trans Am car on the same weekend. That wasn't that difficult, even though there were 25 seconds of lap difference. Uh, when, I, when I got back into the showroom stock Camaro for the next practice session, I, did, I had to tell myself, okay, this car doesn't stop quite as well, doesn't go around corners quite as well. It's stock. Keep that in mind. So you, you know, it take a lap or so to to uh, to get switched on, but you didn't have a lot of time, and that was just came with practice. Now, by your own admission, you're winding down some of the, at least the number of races that you're participating in on a yearly basis, and but you're getting more involved in the business side of racing with with Canadian Tire and doing a lot of work with Canadian Tire and, and Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. But how is it different when you're when you when you can see sort of the end in sight, but now you're looking at the business side? Yeah. Uh, I can tell you it was a lot easier just racing cars. <laughs> uh, no, I've, I've been fortunate. Um, you know, when I when I retired from uh, the long distance racing with with Corvette, uh, they kept me on as uh, an ambassador advisor with the Corvette racing team, and uh, with Chevrolet and with Michelin, we started our high performance driving school uh, out at a motorsports country club called Spring Mountain, west of Las, Las Vegas, and we started that in the late fall of 2008. And then with my uh, partner Carlo Fidani, we got uh, we bought we bought Mosport in uh, June 2011, and then uh, February of 2012, Canadian Tire came on as our uh, uh, as a as a major partner with us and uh, took the naming rights, and uh, it's been fantastic. Uh, and having you know when you look at what we've been able to do with the track and the upgrades, um, and, we, and we couldn't do it without Canadian Tire's help. 
Well, Ron, there's no question you're a great motorsport race car driver. You're a great ambassador and partner to Canadian Tire, and you're even a greater Canadian. Thanks very much for joining us here today, and we appreciate having you here at the 2014 Canadian International Auto Show. Thanks. Thank you, Dave. Thank you for watching Auto Show Web TV for the Canadian International Auto Show running from February 14th until the 23rd at the Metro Toronto Convention Centre in the North and South Building. If you haven't gotten your tickets yet, go to autoshow.ca where you can join the e-ticket fast lane and get 10% off of your purchase. I'm Delina Matthews and we'll see you at the show.